Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 29 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Charles Dobrox Oliveira. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 15 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Simpsonville, South Carolina, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Great. So here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. But BJJ black belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does not describe how good he is. Vast knowledge of all the Jiu-Jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your necks, doing everything to try and make you think submission's coming, even if it's just to change position to secure top. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it, John, stop it. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Thompson. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Wonderboy Thompson. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Lands with a right hand. Oliveris right back to the full mount here. Less than a minute to go now in our opening round. Oliveira's got the full mount. 45 seconds remain in the round. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Wonderboy Thompson. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. I love a grappling. Could really be entertaining. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this 
fight. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Oliver. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these guys. This fight's gonna be over. Buddy, great play of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay in the court. He mixed it up. He went high for the court, but he's low. And now he's got to hurt very bad. So the unofficial numbers thus far. That one appeared to start. He's hurt. Hold him up. Go get him. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the trick... Absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Inside the octagon now, where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. Join the winner by knockout, Charles the Bronx Oliveira. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. Spoken into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in.